With just one live stream from Riverside, you can generate weeks of content for real. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an engaging live stream using video and audio elements, screen shares, MIDI board files, and more, and how you can repurpose that content in many different ways using our AI-generated show notes, magic clips to create vertical content in just a few seconds, share those clips on social media, and create even long-form clips from your live stream, create a full podcast episode in one click, and a ton more. Let's get into it. Here I am in one of my studios for a video podcast, and let's do a new live stream. I'll click go to studio. You'll see I even have some custom branding already, like my background image. I'll choose I'm using headphones and jump in. Now that we're in the Riverside studio, let's prepare some video and audio content to share while we record and set up multiple live streaming destinations, which you can do right here in Riverside. First up, let's go to the live streaming tools here at the top. Here you can add multiple destinations and even use Riverside audience mode to live stream directly on the Riverside platform and do things like live audience call-ins. If you wanna learn more about audience mode and those live call-ins, check out the video above or down in the description. Here at the bottom, I can add multiple social destinations like my Twitch channel, YouTube channel, and more. You can even add custom RTMP destinations, which allows you to live stream to platforms like Instagram. Let's connect my Twitch account real quick. I'll log in, and after you log in, you see that account is automatically connected. Every time I record with Riverside, I can choose to turn on or off those live streaming destinations if I wanna just record or live stream everywhere. And if you're on our standard or pro plan, you can upgrade to the Live Studio add-on click the gear icon here, and then live stream in up to 1080p high definition and remove the Riverside watermark here. Now that we've set up our live streaming destinations, we can also add some video and audio content to the media board. If I go here to the right hand side and click media, I can upload video files up to 100 megabytes, audio files, preview them here and get them ready to show while we live stream. Then once we start recording, I can click live on any video or audio and it will be in the broadcast to those destinations and more importantly, it'll be in the Riverside editor and having these videos already in the editor will expedite the entire post-production process. I'll show you that in a moment. One of the other things I do to add visual engagement while we're live streaming and recording is share my screen. I can have multiple websites here pulled up in tabs and then share those as we record. To do that, I would click the share button down here at the bottom, click share my screen, then I can choose a specific window or share the entire screen. And now I have another visual element that not only gets live streamed, but will automatically be in the editor. I can invite my co-hosts and remote guests using the invite button here. Just copy that guest link and they just need to open it in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And they're here in the studio and ready to record. And when you're live streaming, we have a new feature called OmniChat, which will bring all the messages from your different social destinations here in one place. And when you send a message here in the Riverside chat, it will broadcast to all those platforms, Twitch, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and any other platforms you've connected. When I'm ready to live stream and record, I'll click go live here at the bottom. And now we're live streaming to all those destinations and recording in high quality video and audio, which makes repurposing this content really powerful. I can now share my media board files, whether they're videos, audio clips, or more. And this is being live streamed and recorded. I'll stop the media board file and now maybe I'll share my screen, show a website or do some kind of tutorial here on my computer. And just that quickly, I'm sharing that visual element as well. And another new feature in Riverside is we have lower thirds available to you right here in the studio. I can choose how long this lower third will appear on screen, create new custom lower thirds. And when I click show, because I have that five second timer going, this will automatically dismiss after those five seconds. So you don't have to worry about disabling those lower thirds once you show them. Once we're done live streaming and recording, I'll click the stop button down here. And then all those files, whether they were media boards, screen shares, plus the video and audio from you and your co-host are uploaded to Riverside and they'll be ready in just a few moments in the editor. Now, let me show you one of the live streams I personally did with Riverside and all the different ways I repurposed that content. Here in my studio, I'll go to the iPad event recording and this was a live stream we did after a big Apple announcement. Here in the recordings page, the first thing I'm gonna do is generate show notes with one click and in just a few seconds, it happened that fast. And I have a summary, keywords, takeaways, and a bunch of information automatically generated from this live stream. These takeaways are great to use in social media posts. So as we talk about repurposing the content, I can just copy and paste these, maybe include a video clip that I create in the editor. I also have title ideas, sound bites, also great for sharing on social media, and pre-created chapter markers. In addition to the AI show notes, I can scroll all the way down and download the full transcript of the recording and this is a great thing to repurpose using a tool like ChatGPT. And I can ask it something like, create a 500 word blog post about the iPad event from this podcast transcript. Send that to ChatGPT. And now the transcript I download from Riverside can become a blog post in just a few seconds. Going back to the Riverside recordings page, I can generate magic clips with one click. 
and from an hour long live stream, you'll get six, seven, or more. Longer live streams, you get even more clips, and those are just ready to share on TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts. I can also generate a full podcast episode with one click. I'll just generate episode. Riverside will automatically clean up that audio, remove silences, add those captions, and in just a few moments, my full episode is ready to go. But let's jump in and edit this a little further. Now that we're here in the Riverside editor, we can edit our content via the transcript here on the left, just by selecting and deleting content, and I've edited the audio and video. I can change up the look of my content by reordering the tracks, adding some spacing between me and my co-host, add that custom image background, and you can see Riverside automatically applied those animated captions, but I can go in and change the font, style, size, color, and even the animation style. Lots of animations to choose from. Let's go with karaoke. I can preview that. And that quickly, I have video content ready to share on my YouTube channel and social media. Now, if I wanna choose a clip to quickly promote, maybe for a vertical video, I can format it in just a second by clicking nine by 16 up here. And one of my favorite tools here in the Riverside editor is if I wanna choose just this part of the content to use as a clip, I'll select that text, click the three dots and choose keep only this. And now it will remove everything else. I can hide that deleted text and now I have a perfect minute long clip from the text that I just selected. I can go over to my AI producer, remove silences using our set paste feature, remove filler words with smooth speech. And that quickly, I have this clip that I can download and share. I'll go over to export, export a 1080p video, remove the watermark, click export, and it's that easy. So not only can you create those vertical clips and share those for several weeks on all the different platforms, I'm gonna go back into the Riverside editor and actually create about an eight minute long clip I wanna upload as a long form video to our YouTube channel. You'll see here because Riverside automatically generates chapters, I can quickly go and let's use this chapter about the iPad Air with the M2 chip. As you can see, screen shares and media board files are automatically formatted here in the Riverside editor, making this whole process super fast. I'm actually gonna cut the section here at the beginning of the chapter, delete what came before it. I'll go to the end of the chapter here, it's about a 12 minute clip, split the sections again, and I can export this 12 minute video and now I have a piece of long form content for my YouTube channel. I can export up to 4K video quality, normalize audio so everyone's the same volume, and I'll export that as well. Go back to my exports. Oh, and look, one of my edits is already ready. And now I have vertical videos from Magic Clips and clips that I've created for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and I also have long form videos from that live stream for my YouTube channel, shared on LinkedIn and more. And if you scroll to the very bottom of your recordings page, you also have screenshots from the recording and I can grab those still images, which is great to share on social media as well. And don't forget, if you wanna add even more visual content here in the Riverside editor, I can use the image overlay tool, search for royalty free images right here in the Riverside editor, click one to add it. I can quickly fill the frame and even use our text overlay tool, add titles, lower thirds or descriptions, and I can add multiple image and text overlays throughout a clip. I can also add background music using this tool here and choose from our royalty free audio library or upload my own images, videos, and audio to use throughout the clips. I'll choose a piece of background audio here. I can click the three dots to adjust the volume. And in just a few seconds, I have an engaging piece of content with image overlays, video overlays. And because I used media board files and screen shares throughout the live stream, all of that is automatically put together here in Riverside. And that's how one live stream can become a content generating powerhouse for all of your social media channels, YouTube, TikTok, Reels, and more. If you have any questions about this process and using Riverside for live streaming, leave comments below this video. I'll answer those personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button before you go. We have even more features coming very soon. Yes, even more features. And I'd love to tell you about them right here. And if you wanna learn about growing a consistent, loyal audience for your content, whether that's a YouTube channel or podcast, check out this video right up here where I explain how to create and foster that community. And if you're looking to upgrade your gear, maybe have professional video and audio at home in your studio, check out this video right here where I walk through different budget levels on upgrading your camera, microphone, and more. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you live stream and create.